Now, while events were happening on the center of the line by being stabilized by Hancock, on the far left, the Union troops were being hammered mercilessly by Law's brigade, who got through the, the Devil's Den and got up that rocky hill that was almost impossible to get up. But they were smashing, particularly the 20th Maine. All the brigades and all the regiments were taking heavy, heavy hits. But the 20th Maine, the Confederates kept going, trying to go around them on the side, trying to flank them. So you, know, you had Colonel <clears throat> Chamberlain who had to keep trying to extend his line, trying to withstand this. And he succeeded in doing it. Now, what, he, what had happened originally a, a day or two earlier was he had gotten information that there was a group of mutineers. What had happened was the old 2nd Maine Regiment, their, their list of papers had run out and they had mutinied. They didn't want to fight anymore. They were done. They wanted to go home. About 120 men. And Chamberlain, they actually gave him over to Chamberlain. And they said, you want to shoot him? That's fine. Do what you want with him. But Chamberlain took a different approach. He decided to talk to the men, read with them, saying, we need you guys. Will you guys please fight with us? Will you please help us? That's, I'm really summarizing a really good speech. But he, basically what he said, and almost all of them decided to fight. So the 20th Maine now boosted their numbers up to 400. They only had 300 some odd before, now they're up to 400. Now the 400 men are holding the end of the line, and they're getting hammered mercilessly. And finally it gets to a point where the Confederates keep coming and keep hitting them. Finally, what happened was his regiment was running very low on ammunition. They were almost out. They had almost nothing left. And finally, you know, because Chamberlain knew that, you know, if we withdraw, the whole flank caves in and the enemy sweeps up behind the, sweeps behind in the rear. And so he, in a daring move, he decided to have his regiment fix bayonets. And, and then he arranged it so they actually did a bayonet charge down the hill. And in the afternoon of July the 2nd, and the Confederates actually broke and ran. And they were able to sweep the entire area of the field of Confederates in a brilliant bayonet charge. And in that particular spot, Colonel Chamberlain was actually able to save the left flank of the Union Army in that situation. The thing is, Chamberlain was not so convinced it was a good idea. He fully expected to be court-martialed after that. But they actually, they were quite happy about that. And they said, we need fighting men in this army. So that's what happened on the far left of the of the Union line at the Battle of Little Round Top. So there you go.